how are you today we are going to discuss a good turing algorithm the good turing, turing algorithm is basically an algorithm uh, to find the probability of the unseen things from the seen things uh, to make it simple you can understand it like this suppose uh, you have a sample and you can easily find the probability of anything from that sample but if you want to find the probability of something that doesn't exist in that sample that is really a uh, impossible thing and you know the probability of that thing which didn't appear in the sample will be zero but in this algorithm we will make it non-zero uh, to further elaborate it let's uh, see an example suppose you are fishing uh, on the bank of a river and you get these fish in your net uh, you get trout one trout one salmon and one eel so all these three fish appeared one time in the net and you got two white fish so this one fish appeared two time and you got three perch so this one fish appeared three time and you got 10 carbs so this one fish appeared 10 times so total seen total fish that were seen in the net were 18 and you know that in that river there are other two fish as well which are catfish and bass but these fish appeared zero time in the net so they were not present in the sample that we are going to use to calculate the probability so if someone asks you to tell the probability of trout you will say trout appear one time and there were total 18 fish so the probability of the trout will be 1 over 18 and if someone asks you to compute the probability of catfish you know catfish appeared zero time and there were total 18 fish in this sample so the probability of catfish will be zero but this is wrong as you know catfish and bass does exist in that in that river so there is probability that the next time you throw the net in the river you may get uh, catfish or bass so what to do in such scenario this scenario occurs in natural language processing where you train your software for some task and you know it is not virtually possible to train the software for each and every possible pair of the words or each and every possible bigram so there's always possibility that you will come across new words and new uh, bigrams to, so so to deal such situation we may use this algorithm which is called good theorem algorithm so what's the uh, postulate uh, behind this algorithm or what's the rational behind this algorithm let's discuss that this algorithm says that the, the unseen group has probability almost equal to the group which appeared least number of times so if you want to compute the probability of this group which appeared zero time it will be equal to the probability of that group which appeared least number of time one time in this case so probability of this group will be equal to the probability of this group this is the good theorem algorithm so now if you want to compute the probability of catfish you will not make it zero rather you will see that this whole group probability is equal to the probability of this whole group so this group has two uh, uh, entities so the probability of catfish will be equal to the probability of this whole group divided by 2 so probability of catfish is equal to 3 over 18 divided by 2 now as we have added some probability for this group so the total probability will exceed 1 because if we add the probability of this uh, all these uh, things which appeared in the sample it all sums uh, we, we, uh, into one but as we have added probability for this group as well so the total probability will exceed one 
that is against the law of probability so we do need to subtract some content from these probabilities so to do that you you have to uh, watch the next lecture uh, for now we are just uh, discussing the basic uh, postulate of this algorithms to further understand this algorithm let's see another example suppose uh, you have a little corpus and from that corpus you take a sample of words and that sample contains these words and you know that that corpus also contains contains these four words but but these words did not appear in the sample so now let's uh, tabulate these counts uh, how many words appeared zero time in the sample there were one two three four four words appeared zero times it means they were not present in the uh, sample and there were three words do not eat which appeared just one time and there were two words sam and m which appeared two times each and there were there was one word i which appeared three times so this is the sample or uh, you can say these these are the seen things and this is the same this is the these are the words which were not appeared or you can say these are the unseen things so if someone asks you to compute the probability of the word do you will do it simply do appeared one times so it will be 1 over 10 similarly sam appeared two times it will be 2, 2 over 10 but the probability of is will be 0 as it appeared 0 times 0 over 10 but you know these words also exist in the corpus so there are chances that next time they may appear in the sample so we should not say that its probability is zero so again having the same assumption we assume that probability of this unseen group will be equal to the probability of this group which appeared least number of times one time in this case so the probability of this group is 3 over 10 and it will be equal to for equal to the probability of this group so if you want to compute the probability of is you know there are four words in this group so the probability of is will be probability of this group divided by 4 so probability of this group divided by 4 and then probability of this group is equal to probability of this group which is 3 over 10 in this case and we divide it by 4 so now as we have added some probability for this group as well so the total sum of the probability will exceed 1 so we will have to uh, decrease some amount uh, I, I, you can say we have to tax some amount from these counts and to do that you have to watch next video thanks